in the last transporter video where we changed the fuel filter, there was a few comments on how to bleed the fuel filter correctly. Now, we're just going to go through some of the methods that were mentioned and try and expel some myths to see whether it actually works or not. So stick around if you're interested in that and we'll go through them today. Right, so this is what we're going to do to kind of try and dispel some of these myths. So there's one new fuel filter down there and the clear pipe is the output of the filter. So the pump in the tank will pump the fuel from the tank to the filter on the black pipe, push it through the filter, and then it'll come out of the pipe on the left. Now I've took the original pipe off and put this bit of clear pipe on, as you can see there, and that, this here, is the pipe that would normally go onto the filter. So basically what we've done is we've introduced this bit of clear pipe in line from the filter down there to the original pipe there. So this should obviously allow us to see if there's fuel running through the system or not. Now, I'm obviously not 100% sure how well it'll show up. I mean, you can see it's clear there. Now, obviously, diesel has got a bit of a greeny tinge to it. Um, obviously, white diesel as the classifier has, but has got a bit of a greeny tinge, but we'll get cracking with the first method and then go from there. Now, the first thing that popped up in the comments on the last video, which we changed the fuel filler on this 3.6 transporter, that video will be linked in the description down below. But the first comment that came up was, if you don't have an electronic service tool, just cycle the ignition three or four times. So this is key in ignition on. That is ignition on, no fuel pumping through the pipe. Now we'll key off, key out, we'll just try it a few more times to see if anything happens. So that is again, key in, ignition fully on, no fuel pumping through the pipe. Now the next one that came up was crank the van. Now these vans, have a little thing where when you start cranking, they don't usually stop until the van starts. So I'll try and crank and then turn the key off. We'll do it a few times and see if any fuel turns up. So that was a crank. Once more. Now, as you can see there, there is definitely fuel in that pipe now. And the final method is using electronic service tool, which we know works because we did that in the last video when we changed the fuel filter. So we'll just quickly run that test. There you go, you can see there's fuel pumping into well through the filter there by running that test well that is the van back to the way it was our clear pipe removed now i think we've probably proven there that putting the ignition on by itself just doesn't work but cycling the ignition and then just cranking it but then yeah, what you have to do with these is, because if you just crank once, it will keep cranking until the engine starts. So just put it in a crank and then switch it back off again, and that will trigger the fuel pump to run. Now, obviously, if the filter was empty, you would need to do that three or four times to get the fuel system primed up. Now that, obviously, to do it that way if you haven't got an electronic service tool like I have. Now, I'll stick a little, uh, a little clip on screen now. During one of the tests, the pipe actually blew off and ended up with diesel all over the engine bay, which wasn't ideal. And it took a bit of time to clean up. The only other method that I haven't tried, which because we found a method that does work without having a service tool, I thought there isn't much point in trying it. But the other thing I was thinking, if you had a bit of clear pipe put in like I did there, 
if you had like a priming bulb, which you can get, which basically goes in line and you squeeze it and it sucks from one direction and pumps the other way. If you put that in line, in theory, you could possibly prime it up like that. Um, like I say, I haven't got one to try to see if it would work because you would be trying to suck the fuel through the pump, so it might not work. But because we found a way that does work, isn't really much point in trying it. So I hope that has expelled some myths on how to bleed the fuel system on this van without an electronic service tool. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and comment down below on what you think of it. And if you enjoy this sort of content, please subscribe to the channel and go and check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.